Hello everyone, welcome to the AI email program and this is going to be the module 1 of this course which is going to talk about the auto rotation AI email traffic. So how to set up the auto rotation AI email traffic. So this is the tool that we are using and this tool is a very powerful tool is a very powerful tool and i'm going to show you how you can set it up after you've installed it on your laptop or desktop so let's dive right into it so before i do anything i'm going to explain few features that we have in this particular tool and i'm going to start by explaining what the category is this category is the category of your list of your email list and don't forget your list is the compilation of your leads. Your list is the compilation of your leads. And um, this is the compilation. So if I want to create a list myself, I need to um, right click. So once I right click, I'm going to click on new category. So I'm going to name my category. Let me say I want to run email campaign to, um, to people in real estate. So I'm going to write real real estate agents real estate agents so i can decide to label it with a color and i can just leave it like that so let me just click on okay you can see i have my real estate agents already with zero email zero leads so this is my this is my list with zero leads so one, when you look at my other list that are right here like fitness email fitness experts usa list you can see i have over 1700 leads inside this particular list so let me come to the real estate agents so you can have unlimited number of lists under your category unlimited number of lists under your category so i can decide to add an um a contact manually or a lead manually to my list let me show you an example i will come to new contacts and once i come to new contact it's going to pop up something like this that i should input my basic information you can see and it's going to show conversation right here so let me input one of my emails so Delegated store dot official delegated store dot official at gmail dot com. So I'm going to input this email and I'm going to put my first name. Let me just say delegated. Then the last name I will put store or delegated academy. So, if you want to put more information like phone number, you put it here, address, city, company. These are the um, these are the fields that you can input the leads of your recipients or of your prospects, and also other information. So let me click on OK. So you are going to notice that it has appeared right here for me. You can see. So good, and um. This is one method of me adding my leads. This is one method of me adding my leads. But what if I have a bulk leads, like more than one leads that I want to add to my list, or I want to add a particular list that I've generated from somewhere that I want to add to my list? This is what I will do. I'm going to come to the import data. So from this import data, you're going to see that you have different options that you can use and you can use if your list is in excel format that is xls or xls format or if your list is in txt format that is in text or you can import by copying and paste then you use the import from clipboard so let me use the import from txt format i will click on next it will pop out another thing um wherever i'm going to really import click on this um icon right here to import directly from my desktop so let me go let me go and import one of my list
so i'll make sure my list is in txt format it has to be in txt format before i can be able to add it so let me add this particular one so you can see the total email found for this is 890 emails so i'm going to click on start import so let us wait for the magic to happen you can see voila this is so wonderful you can see it's still importing you can see but the wonderful thing about this software is that if you have um a duplicate in your list if you have a duplicate in your list it will actually help you remove it immediately when you are importing it to your list you can see remove zero email duplicates because there is no duplicate in your list then i will click on ok so this is the list that i've imported that means in this real estate agency alone i already have 891 emails imported that are ready for me to blast my campaign to this is so wonderful they are ready for me to blast my campaign to let me scroll down to the um last page you can see 891 you can see that this is so wonderful this is a crazy tool so that's so cool now the next thing that i'm going to explain is that you can edit your email right from here as well each and every of these emails are editable okay let me decide that i want to edit my email i can decide to click on modify you can see if i click on modify probably i want to change it to theory if there is a mistake or something then i can do that if i want to add my the person's first name last name i can do that as well that depends so now the next thing i'm going to be showing you is how to edit everything with this email when you right click you can do various things right here like to copy the email to move the email to delete the email to refresh open column to modify to view reports to select item probably when you after when you blast your email and also to take different actions to retry to send or if you want to create a new contact entirely like we created for digitech above so yeah and another thing you can do is that you can customize your settings you can customize your settings right here this is where you um, do your um, the software settings if you want to open um, an already an already saved contacts I can decide to save these formats of design in In, in the database let me just say projects or projects one so that you won't lose your information so that you, you won't lose everything that you have here after everything is gone probably when you lose your laptop maybe something happens to your laptop something happens to everything you have your software and so on and so forth you are still going to have the file being saved entirely i believe you understand so that is so fantastic another thing is if you want to open it if you want to open what you've saved you can just click on it right here and open so that is the one thing you need to understand if you want to exit you click exit right here if you want to open a new page entirely you can see this is just a new and an entire new page you can see this is a fresh page whereby when you just create the account this is how this is how your page is going to look that is this is a fresh page but if i want to open what i had the last time i just need to come down here and make sure i open my last project you can see this was my last project with every information still intact so I can come to edit right here i can copy i can search i can manage subscribers and refresh open i can um also do my settings right here so i to see the pop up so you can see the same settings that is here app settings is the same settings that is there you can see you can also come here to tools 
you can see you can view schedule that means you can do auto responder you can do auto responder with this software you can do auto responder with this software so you can see you can collect emails with this software from forums from websites as well you can see you can also this software is also a powerful tool that verifies your email automatically it verifies your email automatically uh before sending it to make sure the email is existing before it is sending it out so as to make your smtp server play safe it's going to make your smtp server to play safe and uh, you can see you can come to help and once you want to register i'm going to include it i'm going to give you the um license to register for it as well so that is that about that so which other thing you can compose this is where you compose a new email you want to send out um uh, you want to send out a message that is where you create um uh, your message you can see compose new compose new so let me say i want to send um, a message to someone let me do this as an example hello there as my subject line this is just an example i still put hello there as the message or maybe, maybe this is what i want to blast you understand i'm going to come to settings i'll make sure i convert it convert html to text you can see whereby when i come to html code right here it's going to have it in html in text it will also have it in text and i can also do it in form of a design i can decide to clear this and import my design i can come here select templates you can see there are several templates that are built in for this um for this software you can see these are wonderful templates professional templates that you can customize and um use for your uh, for your campaign that you can use for your campaign you can see i can decide to select any of these let me select this you can see this is it right here and i can edit everything there everything there i can edit everything so you can also insert a table you can see you can also insert a table in terms of row and column so that you can it's, it's going to help you to understand how to set up what you're doing so you can also save you can save as you can also exit so i'm going to exit and uh, before i exit i can decide to um let me assume that i want to send out this message then i am going to click on add to pending list you can see how to pending list which list do i want to add it to is it all this list or a selected one this is the list that i just imported imported so this is where i am going to add it to my time when i click on start now i blast my email is going to send to only those that are in this list not everybody in the category i believe you understand but if you want it to send to more than one people in the list you can select that in your compose new message as well 